Hello, so this is the first test of the partially assembled Jetson bot wandering around. I'm controlling it with a joystick. This is basically running ROS and this is a teleoperation node that's working with this particular joystick. I wrote a little custom script for it. It's just a junker uh, Nyko that runs a Amazon Fire TV. It has a little safety button you press down and then use the joystick to control it. Forward, backwards, left, right. Got a little bump there in the floor. So if you go slow, it, ooh, got a little bit stuck. So this is similar to what how teleoperation robots work. Basically you wander in off the carpet. <laughs> it's not gonna go well. Hmm, that's interesting. When it goes, when it comes this way, it seems to be a little bit bumpy. Whee! Give you a sense of how tall it actually is. It's relatively small, it didn't even come up to my knee. This is my first time driving it, so I'm not... <laughs> it's kind of a strange feeling, actually. Never really played too much with remote control trucks or cars or whatever. It's kind of fun. On a PC, I have Arviz running and it's actually visualizing the images coming from the depth camera. So you can see that, you can see the images and then you see the color-coded depth map. We'll take that information and use it to actually map the room and do slam. But that's in a later episode. So I figure I have probably an hour or so before the battery runs down, so I think I'm just going to play with it for a while. This is fun! Ooh! Zoomies! You know what? It's when you're running into something. So the bump sensor has sensed that it bumped into something and has disabled the motor from going forward. So when I press on the button to go forward, nothing happens. 
but when I hit backwards, so boom, stop. Probably not too good on the coffee table, but hey, this is science. Robot science. Thank you.